Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Outer Worlds. In our last video, we wrapped up our last companion quests, and in today's video, I'm hoping to wrap everything up and then begin working on the Gorgon DLC. But uh, my, my what I have to wrap up is quite extensive. I've got two task quests that I need to work on. I have this long distance main quest that I need to complete, I believe. I have to level people up. I have to rearrange gear. Um, I feel like there's a whole long list of things that I need to cross off before we get to Gorgon, but... We'll see what we can get through today. <laughs> but anyway, the first quest that I want to work on is Makes Spacesuits Won't Travel. This is where I had to find an iconoclast, marauder, and spacer gear for the fashionista lady back on Byzantium. Now, I have been back to my stash, and I believe I have iconoclast gear and marauder gear, but I've been really struggling to find what I need for spacer gear and struggling to the point to where I've actually gone to the internet to, to give me some tips. Now the internet says I have the helmet I need, but it says I need to purchase the actual clothing from Ike's Armory, which is why we are still on the Groundbreaker. This being one of the reasons the other is, I, I will tell you about shortly. So let's talk to Ike and buy the clothes I need. Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that. Um, okay, let me just buy some stuff. And the gear I need to get, I think, is this one. Streetwear Basic, because it says Ports of Call on it. That's the key, apparently. Allegedly. I haven't tried it out yet, so we'll see if we'll see if the internet tells the truth, which will be a rare thing. The other reason. <laughs> The other reason that we are on the Groundbreaker is because Ellie and Felix have been rather chatty with some of the shopkeeps. That series, the hunt for the Wimbro? The pirate ship? I don't go in for docu-serials. The bounty hunter who's been after them, Fuller? She had an ambush set up on Hephaestus. The pirates came in to dump a bunch of loot on some broker they work with. Whose loyalty did Fuller buy to spring the ambush? Very adventure serial. They catch the pirates? No, they blew the fucking dock up, punched a hole in the ceiling and got blasted out into space. One of the camera crews got smashed by debris. Oh, Fuller damn near lost a leg. <laughs> Good law. You couldn't pay me enough to take bounty hunting work. <laughs> Your camera crew? I mean, like, the, again, the side conversations here are seem to be updating as well. I mean, not the advertisements, but these guys. Have you always been down here? We move cargo 16 hours a day, and half of us still can't afford a bed. Oh. You guys do seem new. I feel like these two have also been chatty down here again. Do you know what's happening on Terra One? Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade Company. Sounded dire. They call it Monarch now. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a real hellhole. Warlord is drumming up marauder squads, uh, blood <laughs> running in the streets, all kinds of shit. <laughs> so it went about as well as everybody expected. Yep, complete fucking fiasco. Oh, I should have come back to Groundbreaker in between each planet, it sounds like. Because they would have had new conversations. But the vendor that these two have been so chatty with, and, I, and I've skipped past it, so now I want to know what it actually happens, or they actually say. But anyway, has been with Martin. That's, that's the point I'm trying to very so poorly get to. Have you tried our dehydrated water tablets? Just add air. Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? <laughs> How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. It's a state of mind. And our customers know the difference. Oh, oh, Felix, you need to be nice to Martin with his headgear, because I am also wearing said headgear. And if you're not nice, I'll put you in it, too. Now, Ellie, I think you also had something to say to, to Martin here. You should give our latest product a try. Ollie Ollie Toxy Free. Now with activated charcoal. What are you saying, Martin? That's an anti Cleo's product. Uh oh. My, whoa, what have I done? <laughs> the company will have my head. Both of them. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Help me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gotcha. What I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. <laughs> this guy's real easy to fuck with. What, what kind of depraved mind would 
conjure such a nightmare. <laughs> Play nice, Ellie. Our friend here is more fragile than he looks. Or that's it. That's Ellie. Isn't she great? Agree to disagree. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this behind us and forget it ever happened. <laughs> oh, totally worth stopping here again. Okay, and then there was one other thing I wanted to look at because I don't think I've been back over here <sighs> to break into this place. I wonder, I wonder if Martin's hiding anything spectacular back here. No one's arrested me yet, so we should be good. Oh, he's got another moon mask back here. Rest and go key card. Well, I think we're good there. A and anything else? Defective moon man helmet? What? Is that different than what I'm already wearing? Hang on. Moon man helmet. And then, oh, it's special. Defective moon man. Plus one temperament. Oh, plus to lie. Oh, my lie should be fine, right? It looks the same though, yeah? That's, I feel like it should look different. It should have some sort of defective thing on it. Is it defective back here in any way? No. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, well. Well, I think that's everything that I wanted to do on the Groundbreaker for right now. I'll have to bring back the rest of my crew to see if they say anything to Martin about his helmet. <laughs> or make fun of him or tease him or other things. But anyway, back to questing. Let's head back to the Unreliable, like I'm doing right now, and then go to my stash. Actually, before I forget, let me go to Parvati and switch out the weapon. She's gonna get the old Reliable. The special effect is stagger. It may be a little slow, but it will last forever. I feel like Parvati's my, my Reliable crewmate. She fixes things and she's nice to me. That, that that's my that's my requirement okay <laughs> so for iconoclast i need a gear that said iconoclast on it and i'd found oops i think the helmet and then also the, the gear as well now i also need a marauder survivalist helmet survivalist armor and then I think the other I think the other thing I could use for spacers gear was this enclosed padded helm allegedly that's what the internet tells me well like I said we'll see if the internet is lying or not <laughs> so now that I've collected everything let's head back down here to Ada you're not gonna say anything did you not miss me again Ada, I feel kind of upset over this. Let's go to Byzantium. She never says she misses me anymore. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's come over here and... Who should I bring, though? We had Ellie and Felix for quite a while. I think let's bring Nyoka and... Hmm, Parvati maybe? They're always funny together. I thought I heard Nyoka drinking already. Oh, and the running speed perk? Oh my gosh, you run so much faster. It's crazy fast. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, working toilets? I'm sure other colonies have cities like this. But those are so far away. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Halcyon. Halcyon. I've heard that one before. Okay. All right. So here we are. Let's first try on, let's see, Iconoclast helmet and Iconoclast armor and see how this goes. Let's quick save <laughs> after all of that and see what Celeste says. Goodness. Look at those atrocious contours. <laughs> The sheer brutality of its design offends the senses and shocks the mind into a state of palpable excitement. <laughs> I adore it. <laughs> Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. Uh, um, where am I supposed to find spacer's gear again? If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Okay, that's, that's where I went, so... 
Let's leave and let's try Marauder. Oh, let's put in the right slot. Marauder helmet and Marauder here. Oh, how grotesque. I always suspected the dramas did no justice to real marauders. Their armor is so much more hideous in person. One outfit left. Do hurry, my dear. The bird of inspiration is about to take flight. Oh, okay. I really hope what I got works, because if not, well, it's going to be a trip for nothing. I do like the helmet on this one. It's very, I don't know, sneaky looking. You know what I mean? I'm probably explaining myself very poorly, but anyway, here we go. Oh, that's not a bad looking outfit. I don't, I don't like the helmet, but let's see what Celeste says. Like a star, darling. Square your shoulders, hand on your hip, eyebrow cocked. Yes, perfect. My heart is all a flutter. Yay. Yes, that's it. I have it. I know exactly what we're doing. Brace yourself, my dear. We're going to call this style barbarian chic jeez oh, the saucy confidence of a spacer the raw contempt of an iconoclast the brutish musk of a marauder and the piece de resistance monster leather monster leather is fashion catching up to sensibility at last potentially one part mantequine chitin three parts hide from a raptodon's flank and let's say no oh, Eight strips of primal leather. No. Oh no. Ten. No, no, no. No, no, no. I I I I yeah, I was expecting a simple modeling job. We're revolutionizing the fashion of Byzantium. Our work is anything but simple. I was supposed to just be done. <laughs> I'm not some backwater laborer, Celeste. I don't work for free. I love the way you just smolder with contempt. <laughs> it makes me want to spoil you. Here. Get yourself to a nice new gun or something. I bet. Get this done for me, and I'll have you strutting about in a Jolicoeur original. You will be the envy of Byzantium. Hmm, bye. That's not really how this was supposed to end, Celeste. You were supposed to finish the quest, and then we were supposed to be done, and then I was supposed to be on my merry way, and that's not happening, and I'm kind of annoyed at that. What do I get? Armor ignored by stealth attacks minus 10%. Oh, I'll keep my moon mask helm on. Thank you very much. Well, what does it say we have to go do? So we modeled the Iconoclast Marauder and Spacer's outfit, and now I have to go collect 10 primal leather from Emerald Vale, three wrapped on flank hides from Monarch, and then a collect a Manticween... Sh what I, I always say chitin, chitin, but it's not that way. It's Chitin, maybe? Uh, it doesn't matter. From Monarch as well. Lovely. Le well, let's level up Nyoka and Parvati. We'll take a, a mini break. Okay, let me see. All right, well, for Nyoka, we're going to increase our lie when she is in our party. So we'll take bonus support lie. And then for Parvati, we will take um, engineering because I, I don't I don't I don't know what else to get. <laughs> there doesn't seem anything super exciting. So marked for purchase is bonus support engineering. So I increase engineering by ten when she's in the party as well, which I suppose could be helpful, but I'm not going to stress out about it. So anyway, then next quest we'll work on, I guess, is all Halcyon in a day, and allegedly I should be able to just Remember turn this one in. Yeah, the stranger who was me in this square. So judgy against me. Look how fast I run, though. Like, look how fast. I tell you what, we'll change the font in our contracts as per your request. If you'll replace the landscaping around your offices as per ours. Throw in a clause about hosting our weekly bridge tournaments, and you've got yourself a deal. You drive a hard bargain, my good man. They've got to pay me for something, my dear fellow. Uh, I feel like have we heard that before? We probably have, but. It's it's fine to see the ridiculousness that is Byzantium over and over again, just so I don't forget. <laughs> All right, well, I finished your little tour. What is your name, Alonzo? Oh, it's you. Mm-hmm. I suppose you're here to collect your prize, hmm? I really do have the worst luck. When I gave you this job, I never expected you'd be so damned competent. So were you hoping I was gonna die? 
Um, what? I don't care, Alonzo. Just give me my hat and I'll be on my way. <laughs> no, that's me. Damned competent. Yes, go on and gloat. You've already ruined all my plans with your talent for staying alive. <laughs> the tour's not real, friend. Board shut it down years ago due to unacceptably <laughs> high rates of fatalities. So I greased a few palms and got the tour up and running again. I outfitted every beacon with a recording device. Live footage of dim-witted mercenaries dying in gruesome ways across Halcyon. <laughs> oh, imagine the ratings. <laughs> so there, there's no way this is legal. It prob if they kill people in the basement of Byzantium, this is totally legal. Oh, that's so sad. Can I have my hat now? So you tried to get me killed. Are you crazy? I mean, like, why would you send me on this if you knew it was going to kill me? Oh, come on. I would have made your death worth millions. Yeah, but I wouldn't have gotten any of it. Look, never mind. Just take your reward and get out of my hair. One certified explorer's hat, <laughs> courtesy of the Bureau of Exploration, with my compliments. This hat better be amazing. That's all I got to say. Where is his hat? Ooh. <laughs> that hat is hideous. <laughs> like totally those kind of hats that you get from you know the shops when you leave rides at like amusement parks <laughs> it's hideous it's awful and i love it um hmm well i want to go back and maybe do long distance which is in the building i think hang on which building is it in it's in the acropolis so i but i wonder if it's in the building that has the chairman's office because there was that one terminal that I couldn't hack into. And you guys recommended that I bring back somebody who had a higher hack level. And I should do that. I don't think it's Parvati or um, Nyoka. I think it might be the Vicar. So I think we'll probably come back and do that one. Uh, come back and do the long distance quest turn in, in theory. And then maybe do both at the same time, in theory. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how that, that goes. But anyway, we need to go back to the Unreliable. So we need to go back to Emerald Vale and Monarch because we need to go kill more beasties and it's a whole thing. And I mean, it's fine, but like it's kind of annoying. Okay, it's not even marked. So where do I need to go? So Primal is on Emerald Vale and Raptodon's on Monarch. Okay, well, let's see. Terra 2 is Emerald Vale. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Good luck, Captain. Thank you, Ada. That was very nice of you. Let's bring Parvati and Sam. I feel like I haven't... I feel like if I'm going to have banter with Sam at all, it's going to be with Parvati because she likes robots. But that hasn't happened yet, so I want to keep trying. Well, you may be wondering why we are paused. Well, we are pausing so that I can explain to you that you are not coming along with me on the journey to find 10 primal leather, three raptodon flank hide, and one mandaquid chit chite chite whatever the word happens to be. Instead, though, I'm going to give you some of the little party banter I had between Parvati and Sam here. Warning! Organic debris stuck in tread. Please remove organic debris from tread. Unit is ill-suited to rocky and Update. Organic debris dislodged from tread. We ought to camp out here tonight, you know? Make a little fire, sing songs. No. No, we should not do these things. What is wrong with you? Who's the sweetest boy? Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific customer service request. Please repeat the order. Yeah, you are. Uh. <laughs> I hope Edgewater don't end up like this. Dispensing body bags. Oh, oh damn. Well, I hope you enjoyed the party banter between Parvati and Sam because we are done now with collecting all of the little bits that Celeste needed to complete her whatever. And I also have brought the vicar with me back to Byzantium because we are going to make a pit stop and hack that computer because he is the guy with my extra hacking skills. But first things first, let's talk to Celeste and hopefully wrap up this quest. What can I do for you, darling? 
have your stuff. Manta Queen, Chitin, Wrapped It on Hide, Primal Leathers, all done. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera. Crafted from the hides of three species of monster. Really? While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. Oh, really? If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. I mean, you're asking a lot from me. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt that. All right, I'll get you that parcel. Those monsters are forcing you to sign for a parcel? What a massive inconvenience. <laughs> I've been all over the colony for you. Now you want me to deal with bureaucrats? <laughs> no, we're gonna go with the second one. Can you believe the cheek on these people? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say they were trying to grift an autograph out of me. Oh, really? How dare they? I've been, now we'll do all over the colony. <laughs> I know, my dear, you do spoil me, but this outfit is my masterpiece, and that lapel is my signature. I simply must have it. Ugh, fine. So I have one of your assistants fetch the parcel? No, I want, I will go get the parcel. Wonderful. I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. Mm -hmm. You truly are my savior, darling. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. I, I mean, like, at least I don't have to go anywhere, right? You gain the writ of consent. Oh, we have to see what this says. Hang on. Um, quest. Writ of consent. A writ of consent from Celeste Jolicoeur. Whoever holds this can sign documents for Celeste. Can I sign a document that gives I love Byzantium. all my money to her? I or all, no, gives her all of her money to me. That's the proper statement. All of her money to her. No, I want her money. You know, Felix and... Ellie, we're so much more chatty than you two. You, sir, are a fabulous negotiator. Oh, don't get me started, my dear fellow. You are most certainly the master of this art. Ha! Look at us, at it again already. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get this parcel and get out of here and go somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but, well, I actually am, but anyway. Okay, so, Olive, will you talk to me now? How may I be of assistance? Are you the newscast lady? I need to go back, I need to go back to Groundbreaker before we go to Gorgon and see if I get any news updates. But anyway, Celeste Jolicoeur sent me. I'm here to sign up for a parcel. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to window B. <laughs> okay, great gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Hello. What is your name? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered within acceptable margins of certainty. How may I be of assistance? Wanda Chen, that is your name. I'm here to collect a parcel for Celeste Jolicoeur. <sighs> Let me just look that up for you. It appears that a parcel for Ms. Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is currently out for delivery. Mm-hmm. I was told the parcel was being held here. Is it being delivered to Miss Jolicoeur's address, right? Is it being delivered to Miss Jolicoeur's address? That doesn't make sense because the right shouldn't be there. Out for delivery where exactly? Well, let's see where it's at. Let me see here. A parcel for Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is being delivered to 316 Rockwell in the Byzantium Estates. Okay. Thank you for allowing HPS to be your only option today. <laughs> the only option. Yep, you guys are my only option. Okay, so, but where is that? Yeah, that doesn't seem like the shop. So maybe it was getting delivered to her house or is somebody trying to intercept it and take it from them? Can you two chatty chatty a little bit? Cause that would be nice. Here's some stairs. So, how many times have you seen okay, Terror we've heard on that the Monarch? One Nothing? Really? I'm so disappointed in you two. Ugh. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Pick up HPS delivery unsuccessful. We were unable to deliver your parcel as requested. Your parcel is being returned to the HPS building located at 533 Aridanos. Please speak to an HPS clerk about the retrieval of your parcel. I mean, this is just annoying, right? This quest has become like obnoxious. Can I just come into the back door and collect I'll it? I'll sue every technician and employee who's ever touched this damned device. Don't they know who I am? This is all so very beneath me. <laughs> okay, maybe I can just take it. Well, it looks like it. It looks like it. Hi, Wanda. Halcyon Parcel Service is proud to be the colony's only parcel delivery service. I can't just take How it. How may I be of assistance? Well, I can't just take it. Yeah, I've got this notice to pick up a parcel. I must respectfully ask that you calm down, please. Parcels must be picked up at window A. Mm, but that's all the way over there. Can't you just get it for me? Maintaining proper window structure is imperative to the smooth operation of HPS. I mean, this is a game and it's already, and it's frustrating me. So I can't imagine if this was somebody's real life. Are you kidding me? If you would like to lodge a complaint about the quality of your service, please request a complaint form at window C. There's nobody in window C. If you C. would like to request a complaint form at window C, please make an appointment. And who do I make this appointment? So yeah, let me guess if I want to make an appointment, I have to request a form. I see you're familiar with our company policy. <laughs> Fine, I shall go back to window A. All right, Olive. How may I be of assistance? Just give me the package. I'm here to pick up a parcel for Celeste Jolicoeur. Of course. If you could just verify for me that you are Jolicoeur, Celeste, or an officially authorized proxy? Yes, I can. Persuade, can you not see what I'm wearing? I'm obviously one of Celeste's models. Let's try it. Yes, I can see by your eccentric mode of dress that you must <laughs> be one of Ms. Jolicoeur's associates. Everything seems to be in order. Here you are, one parcel. <laughs> I hope this has been a pleasant and satisfying transaction. Halcyon Parcel Service thanks you for your patronage. Thanks. It, was it the moon mass that gave me away? Was that what led you to believe I was such a fashionable, eccentric person? Celeste, can we please be done now? I'm, I'm very tired of doing errands for you. I mean, this is just obnoxious at this point. Okay. Go through here, I think. And then up over here. It's very laggy randomly because there's so many Remember things. Oh, oh no, she's dead. Hey, careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. What happened to Celeste? You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr? She was reported? for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. What? Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. You killed Celeste? That's insane. Did you really have to kill her? We were doing business. I mean, no, you guys are crazy. She was a fashionista girl. No argument there. Feels like the whole colony's going insane. What with dissidents infiltrating the walls of Byzantium. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by Universal Defense Logistics. Universal Defense Logistics. Your first and last line uh, of defense in the war against sedition. Yes, because um, clothing is seditious now. I mean, like... Oh, Celeste. Oh, Celeste, they did you so wrong. Can you leave? Can you leave too so I can take the hat? I want the hat. Ugh. Oh, Celeste. They so did you wrong. All right, guys, in, in we go. We're gonna run out the place, okay? Not so fast. Oh, oh no. Parvati. What do you think you're doing? Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. I don't want any trouble out of you. Parvati. 
Stop getting us caught. Be sneakier. Understood. I'm keeping oh, my head down. Or it can hate me all at once. It's fine. Oh, look, there's the chimera. Okay. Oh, and her terminal's not working either. That's so disappointing. So wait, what was my latest updates? I've been skipping them. Okay, so we got the lapel for HPS. Then we returned to Celeste. And then the latest update was Celeste is dead. <laughs> she may have left her prototype suit behind. Suit, not soup. Oh my gosh. Is it complete now? Is it done? Oh, and she only had to die for our quest completion. So Chimera Jolicoeur, an exquisite outfit crafted by Celeste Jolicoeur. This suit provides as much protection as standard heavy armor. What? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of snazzy. Are we gonna wear this? Yes, we are. Plus 10 dialogue, extra armor. Ooh, it's light armor though. And I've been running around in heavy armor? Medium armor. So, hmm. Oh, I lost carrying capacity, but I have so much carry weight. I look, I'm not gonna lie, I look kind of snazzy. I like, I look super snazzy. We're gonna wear it. <laughs> oh, poor Celeste. You had to die for our fashion and new armor. Poor, poor you. So, our final update says that Celeste was killed by the board for creating subversive and perverse designs, but not before she made one prototype suit of her greatest work, which is now in your possession, which is now what I'm wearing. I, I, I wish there was like a better third person than this because I, I would, I would show you it again. But anyway, well, before we go and do, let's see, I'm thinking about doing long distance. I'm a little nervous about it, but I want to give it a try. But before we do that, let's head back to the chairman's tower. Is Mayfield still drinking? Idiot's probably face down on the bar by the <gasps> Oh yeah. Take it easy. Not like you can get into any trouble past out. Oh, you're Mayfield's dead. That's the new guard who we had drink himself to death so that we could take his stuff. Oh, for the good old days when you could simply have You cannot understand the problem until you free yourself from the desire for an answer. Um, was there more to that statement or is that it? Because I feel like there should be more. Okay, let's see. Looks like I can get to, what was her name again? Adjutant Akande this way as well. Hmm. I do want to use her personal what was it? Her personal landing pad, but let's go in here. Um, let me save and see if I can get up to Chairman Rockwell's office again and then go the long way, perhaps, maybe. Hello, can I still get in here? Yes, I can still get in here. I can't believe you guys don't have anything to say about Byzantium and how fancy it is and over the top and ridiculous. I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm really glad I bought, brought Felix and Ellie here instead of you two. <laughs> Elevator ride. Very long. Uh, let's go this way. Still nobody seems to notice. Save again. Ugh, hack is still not high enough. Ugh, well, darn, that's disappointing. Can I fast travel to my unreliable? I can. Well, that was a waste of time, but maybe before I finish the main quest line, like forever, forever, I can have enough high enough hack because currently I'm only at Skills, I'm only at 90. And that's without, without a Vicar of my group. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's go to Adjutant Akande's landing pad. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. And see what this lady has to say. 
Save again, just in case I mess it all up, but who knows? Bring the Vicar and Parvati again. Oop. Now, what does my hack have? Skills? 130. Okay, I got to get that up 20 more. That's a lot to have to get up. Hmm. Huh. Anything around here I could maybe steal, perhaps? Borrow permanently? Oh, wow. A very nice view, though. It does look so pretty. I won't lie. Byzantium is really pretty. Full of idiots, but it's really pretty. Anything over here that I can permanently borrow? Oh, wow. It goes... It keeps going. Riot control helmet gold. Ooh. I want to see you guys. We're sneaky this time. Nothing else? I mean, it's good to be thorough, right? <laughs> okay. Let's head inside and see if Ms. Akande's over here. Guard Esparza. Move along. If you've got a question, talk to Percival. Percival? Who's Percival? <laughs> wow, it's like the security you go through at the airports, but like way jankier. <laughs> I'm glad we came a different way. Kind of fancy. Some junk. Am I gonna go back to the exact same spot that I was just in? Probably. What did we do today? We ran around in circles, like like normal. Much shorter elevator ride. Yeah, we're right back to where we were. Adjutant Akande's notebook. This notebook contains a collection of assorted quotations and excerpts. Someone has left a bookmark on this page. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood-dimmed tide is loosened and everywhere the ser and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack of conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Surely some revelation is at hand. Deep thoughts. Big, big deep thoughts. Hmm. All right, well, let's save and see how this goes. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Um... Did I give her information? I mean, I gave her false information. So, but what's gonna happen to him? The signal you sent us is experiencing some interference. My agents will need time to isolate the problem. We're going to monitor Wells until we're ready to make a move. I asked you here to discuss something far more important. Okay. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, mm -hmm. even disturbing. Mm -hmm. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. The powerful make the mistakes and the powerless are left paying the price, as it has always been. Tell me, Adjutant, have you anything to offer beyond the usual false platitudes? <laughs> I'm offering decisive action, Vicar de Soto. I can no longer depend on lazy, weak-willed bureaucrats to help me rescue Halcyon. I need someone with a backbone, someone like your captain. 
Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. So she brings up like extinction, but like, aren't there humans still back on Earth? I mean, extinction in the Halcyon colony. And why has nobody brought up just packing it up and being like, well, it didn't work out so well. Let's all head back to Earth. Like, why, 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 why is that not on the table? I'm just putting it out there. But yeah, we need to talk about this lifetime employment program nonsense. I'll answer however I can. So you don't honestly believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, do you? <laughs> How long do we have? What does any of this have to do with me? What's your take on all this? And no more questions. Well, let's just start at the top and work our way down. The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. Are you sure? There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. But, like, um, I saw the presentation. Rockwell wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Yeah, and it doesn't work because you can't unfreeze them without them going crazy or dying it. So, let the rest of Halcyon starve. I'm going to be kicking my heels up in Byzantium. No. Uh, this isn't the only way to save Halcyon. Wells as a plan. No, I'm going to go with that I saw Rockwell's presentation. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. I, I, I'm going to take a solid pass on that one. So let's ask how long we have. We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. Mm -hmm. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. That's what that research in Roseway was all about. Yeah, the one with uh, Dr. Chartrand to try to make the plants better? So, I mean, more edible and more nutritious? Before you interfered in Roseway, Dr. Anton Crane was on the verge of developing a powerful appetite suppressant. It would have made his career. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The Lifetime Employment Program is our only viable option. Yeah, I got the mixed up, the, the diet toothpaste that I hooked up with Spacer's Choice. So what does any of this have to do with me? What's your take? Well, let's get her, her take on it. When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked, even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. Yeah, that's what the people on Byzantium do. The rest of the people do all the hard work and just try to survive. It's not the kind of language I expect from the chairman's own adjutant. It's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. Yeah, I would, I would go with that one. I admit, I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. Um, I feel like that's, that's a bad example. Like, there should be paperwork, but it, oh my gosh, like this, these people are crazy, but what does this have to do with me? When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, 
I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Hmm. Not a fan of bureaucracy, Sophia. I'm with you. I want to save Halcyon as much as you do. Our interests may align, but make no mistake, we're not friends. I don't... We'll go with the middle one. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. No more questions. Tell me why you wanted to see me. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. What? I cannot condone this plan. Wanton, senseless destruction of life is never the solution. I don't need you to approve of my plan, Vicar. I need you to get it done. You're a monster. Yeah. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. No. I No. I don't understand what, what did Edgewater do to deserve this? Yeah, she is completely insane, and the answer is no, but I'm going to ask my question first. You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. Nope. We're, yeah, we're talking about human lives here. And why me? Because right now you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Oh, darn. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act. And you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Um, Adelaide's people are self-sufficient. They're not a strain on the colony's resources. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. Yeah, you're completely insane. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. Nope. Solid pass. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. No, I, I, I don't really have a choice, do I? You've made your point, I'll do it. No, go to hell. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Watch out! Oh, Bring oh. Down. oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's happening. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Specials. Use your specials. Yeah, you get him, Parvati. You too, Vicar. I'll take your confession now. <laughs> I think he shot a dead body. Really? He shot a dead body. What the heck just happened? Um, uh, okay, wh wh what what quest was I working on? That I, I think I failed a quest. Let's botch long distance. <laughs> so she wanted me to um, uh, kill people. Oh, I didn't get a chance to 
speak to Percival to collect my reward. Oh, well. So Sophia Akande is dead along with your career as a board operative. Oh, darn. Really? I can't. Darn. <laughs> well, let's loot everybody and then try to figure. We're going to have to shoot our way out of here, aren't we? I'm stealing everything because they tried to kill me. Well, that happened. Sorry, Percival. You should have stayed, you know, outside. What was his lamp? Oh, I love my new outfit. It's so cool. Ooh. That's not that's not bad looking. I like that outfit. I'm not gonna wear it. I like my fancy dress outfit better, but well, I uh I I didn't think they'd go quite that far, but alright. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here. That's for sure. Uh what quest do I have flagged now? Which is the main quest. But I've got... That's it. That's all I've got left. Our main quest. So we're gonna... Try to head out of here. Is one healthy if they are well adjusted to a sick society? I... Oh, no. We went the wrong one. Okay, let's save. And shoot our way out of here. We've got a fight on our hands. mess with us yeah you really should not mess with us I've I brought friends with really good guns here we go everyone all right oh no how am I gonna get can I get could I have just fast traveled out of here Probably. Hi! Don't mind me! Nope. Specials are not available currently. Where do you find peace in debt? <laughs> Could that not have been more perfectly timed? <laughs> I mean... Just saying. Sometimes the vicar. Yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. Way better than Felix's drop kick. Huh? Oh, nice oh. Oh. That was weird. Alright guys, let's uh let's get out of here. I feel like the board is really, really okay, I should actually look and see what my reputation is. The board's scared. You are uh, you are kill on site to this faction. Vendor prices are increased by twenty five percent. That meaning that if I uh if I get past um everybody and actually get to a vendor <laughs> that they'll that I can actually buy things still. But anyway, so it also says this employee is wanted by HR. Please report any sightings of this employee to management immediately. That's that's pretty excellent. All right, I. I feel like this might cause some problems, but, um, we'll see how it goes. Hi, Ada. You killed the adjutant? We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Yeah. Is that okay? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, apparently that is I okay. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay, well, you've been, you've ignored me all the time. What's going on here? Are we practicing now, our shooting again? What happens if we hit the wall? Most likely the bullet will ricochet, which could be bad or hilarious. There's a tiny chance of a hull puncture, which would suck us into space one chunk at a time. Bad and hilarious. <laughs> Ugh, just imagine that makes me sick. Right? That's why we don't miss. All right, let's check in with everybody. Something busted, Captain? Nope. I'm surprised she doesn't have something to say after that. Something on your mind? Nothing? Okay. How about you, Nyoka? Hey, Cap. Okay, we'll talk about Gorgon job maybe in a minute. Felix? Good to see you, boss. That's it? How about the vicar? Oh, wrong room. 
Here we go. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. <laughs> What's occupying your thoughts? Lots of things. The, the fact that nobody in my crew wants to talk about the fact that we are fully wanted by the board now. But, okay. Well, let's, um, drop off some gear that I'm not going to wear anymore. And now let's head to the Groundbreaker. I want to empty my bags before we do Gorgon. And I also want to check out to see if I can go to the Groundbreaker and do things. And also check out the news updates to see... The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. And to also see if I have any updates on the news announcer lady. That's what I've been trying to say very poorly yet again. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned I'm going to be shoot on sight. Although the Groundbreaker reputation is not bad. I wonder if I can go see the the embassy guy and see what happens. That would be interesting. We're gonna try it. Nothing? We're still good? We're gonna go the long way. Rizzo Purpleberry Budge. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored candy. Nothing? Well, there's a TV in here. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend really? your corporate Really? No updates? It is, it's the lady from the parcel service. I'm just saying. Okay, let's save one more time and then... Head to the embassy. Hi, guys. Got anything to say to me? Kendrick Silva. Hello. Welcome to the office of the representative of Halcyon Holdings here on Groundbreaker. How might I assist you today? Where's the other guy? Yeah, where'd he go? My sincerest apologies, but I'm afraid I don't understand. Other guy? Uh, Udom Bedford? Regretfully, that name doesn't ring a bell. Now, if you have nothing further, please excuse yourself. Um, who are you? I am the board's representative here on Groundbreaker. You may call me Mr. Silva, or Sir, whichever you prefer. Uh, um, cut the shit, where's Udom? If you're asking why he no longer sits at this desk, that's simple enough. His employment with Halcyon Holdings was terminated. If you're instead inquiring as to the precise location of his body, well, that I do not know. Why did they kill him? May I help you with anything else? Who had him killed? I haven't asked, nor do I care to know. Probably not. <laughs> you're a well-connected man. Surely you've heard whispers, though. I heard screams, in point of fact, oh my from down the waste disposal hall. Now you know as much as I do. I hope this information satisfies your curiosity. Good day. Uh, waste disposal hall. That's around the corner-ish, right? Waste disposal. Waste disposal. That was... Over here? Um... Is that a new body down there? Or is it the same one? The, nope, it's the same one. Oh, there's another one over here. Is this Udom? <gasps> oh my goodness, they killed him. Why would they? I mean, like he was a corporate lackey. I mean, he had a crush on the old Alex, but like not on me, Alex. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This just got like even crazier, crazier, awesome. Ooh, I am so excited to keep playing. Not that I haven't been, but whoa, did not see that coming at all. Well, um, I am gonna end things here today. I am going to empty my bags and head back to the Groundbreaker because on Saturday, we are going to start the quest, The Ones Who Walk Away From Gorgon, which is the Peril on Gorgon DLC main quest and, and go from there. 
So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Outer Worlds video.